In upcoming episodes of Days of Our Lives, tension escalates as Clyde Weston orchestrates a jailbreak from Statesville, seeking assistance from various characters, including Ava Vitali and potentially Stefan De Mera. Clyde's motives stem from concerns about his drug empire and a desire for freedom to expand his operations. Meanwhile, amidst family turmoil, Paulina's health improves, providing relief to Chanel and Abe. Johnny and Chanel celebrate their marriage but face challenges, particularly Chad's animosity towards Everett and Bobby, exacerbated by Jada's probing interrogation tactics. As Paulina recuperates, emotional reunions and reconciliations unfold, while Chad grapples with personal vendettas and familial responsibilities. Sarah's loyalty to Xander prompts conflicts with EJ, hinting at further confrontations within the Demera family. Preview images tease poignant moments, including Chad's support for Stephanie and the potential for Brady and Teresa to mend fences with Tate. Amidst the turmoil, Salem braces for upheaval and unexpected alliances in the days ahead. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, the villain demands assistance with leaving Statesville in Clyde's jailbreak plot. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Clyde Weston will decide he has had enough of managing the Statesville behind-the-scenes operations. Clyde might be concerned that the authorities would take action against those who are supporting him and curtail his authority now that there are so many questions about his drug enterprise. Then again, perhaps, with his drug enterprise expanding, Clyde will just want to be free once more. If Clyde was free, he could accomplish more and also have a lot more fun in life than he would as an inmate. In any event, according to teasers for days, Clyde will plan a jailbreak and ask for assistance. Fans of Days of Our Lives should anticipate that Clyde will issue an ultimatum to Ava Vitali, forcing her to take the initiative in her Statesville escape plan. A swap of Clyde's freedom for Wendy Shin and Trip Johnson's release would make sense. Clyde might threaten Trip and Wendy with dire consequences if Ava refuses to comply. Although Stefan De Mera has been quite busy attempting to handle Harris Michaels, Clyde may also want his help. Clyde might need to have all hands on deck in this case. Still, according to spoilers for days, Clyde will make sure everything is set up for his impending prison escape, which is scheduled to take place on March 8. Since Clyde has escaped from prison before, it shouldn't be too difficult for him to carry this off especially with all the individuals he has extorted to assist him. According to teasers for days, Clyde will be eager to leave Statesville behind, so hopefully his scheme works as intended. When will Clyde be able to break free and unleash his fury outside? What will it take for Clyde's horror to end for good? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Clyde will eventually experience a significant setback. Follow along for updates on the unfavorable news that's coming Clyde's way. As a dire situation looms, Chanel breaks the good news, and Chad lashes out at Everett and Bobby. On this episode of Days of Our Lives, Paulina receives good or bad news, Chad finds out about Bobby, and Holly begins to feel better. Kayla walks into Paulina's hospital room while Chanel and Abe sit by her side, where she is resting. Paulina's recovery is going as planned, according to follow-up testing, and the thyroidectomy was successful. She may require a heart transplant and will likely require a lengthy recuperation process because of the scar tissue left behind from the heart attack. Chanel falters and is caught by Abe. When Paulina awakens, she questions what's happening. In the living area, Johnny discovers EJ working on Demera business. When Nicole casually strolls in and reveals that Holly is also home, he is taken aback. He tells EJ and Nicole that he and Chanel got married after enlightening them about Paulina's medical situation. EJ teases Johnny jokingly for not inviting them to the wedding, but he realizes how much Chanel makes his life better and how well they fit together. 
he bestows his blessing. Nicole speculates that they'll become digital nomads, while EJ believes they'll move into a wing of the house. Even though they haven't had a chance to discuss it, according to Johnny, he has a feeling they'll want a place of their own. Everett joins Chad in the interrogation room after being summoned in. Prior to Everett telling Chad about Bobby, Jada stops by to talk about Lucas Horton's attempted murder. Everett is astounded that the story hasn't been leaked. You believe you're the only person capable of maintaining secrecy? Jada makes fun of herself. The whereabouts of Lucas was only known to a small number of people. This indicates that someone gave it up, and they're keen to identify that person. Chad asserts that they were unrelated to it and says that Lucas was Abigail's uncle. Why would he endanger his family? Jada replies, some people don't view family the way most of us do, glancing coldly at Everett. Chad raises an eyebrow. Everett promises that they wouldn't betray Lucas, who gave them important information. Jada is questioning them more, and Chad senses that she is hostile to Everett. Jada queries their trip to Statesville to see Clyde. According to Everett, it was included in their piece about the drug trade. Jada makes fun of Zbernstein and Woodward. Assuredly, Chad wants nothing but anguish and misery for the person who killed his wife. Jada understands it, but she questions Everett's relationship to the criminal. In fact, Mr. Stein, it's difficult to determine with whom he is currently associated. It is Everett's journalistic interest alone that he claims to have in Clyde. For Jada, Everett's word is meaningless. She will therefore remain seated until they tell her something she can genuinely trust. Johnny informs Holly, who is unconscious in her room, that things haven't been the same around there without her. He misses their fencing classes, seeing her draw while listening to Adele, and the scent of the macaroons that Chef creates for her. He sobs as he expresses how much he is missing her. He says he will pay you another visit shortly. After sending Chanel to buy some ice chips at the hospital, Kayla leaves Abe and Paulina by themselves. Paulina gave them quite the scare, but now that they've reconciled, Abe tells her she can't go. Paulina reassures him that nobody is going to leave. Abe Carver, you have my undying love. But in the event that something goes wrong, she asks him to swear that he will look after her girls. Although he knows she will support them and their kids, he makes a vow. And he'll be by her side all along. Chad questions why Jada is pursuing Everett so intensely after she exits the interrogation room to make some phone calls. Everett defends himself and fills him in on Bobby. Chad screams angrily that he is not credible in anything he says. Ever since arriving in Salem, he has been lying. Everett responds that Chad accomplished that all by himself, but Chad holds Everett responsible for the breakup of his relationship with Stephanie. Chad is angry as Jada comes back. Jada lets them go but cautions them against leaving the town. Chad walks away. Although Everett apologizes to Jada for forgetting that they were together, Jada doesn't take his words seriously. All she wants is to put an end to the wonderful memories of their first encounter at a farmer's market. He informs her about his therapy because he sincerely wants to put things right. He wishes to recall. She wants to forget everything. Hopefully one of us gets our wish. Johnny stops at the hospital coffee kiosk and sees a tearful Chanel. After telling him about Paulina, she collapses into his embrace. She sobs, I can't lose her. Johnny reassures her that they will be there for Paulina no matter what. Chanel is unsure about what to say to Eli when he phones her on her phone. After returning to Paulina's room, Johnny and Chanel inform her that Lonnie has been set free. Tomorrow, Lonnie and Eli will be present. Holly's hand twitches when she is visited in her room by EJ and Nicole. Days of Our Lives then has an update meeting with Alex and Kristen, during which Sarah stands up for Xander. Photos from the preview days, 
Chad comforts Stephanie and the parents make amends. You won't want to miss this episode, I promise. View the images from Days of Our Lives on Wednesday, February 28th. These hint at a lot of drama that will be taking place in Salem in an episode you won't want to miss. Preview Images It is not going to be a nice day for Sarah. Although she is seen in the photos below conversing with Xander's brother Chad at Horton Town Square, she will be protecting him against DJ. Will she receive some grace from the gentler Demera brother? There are hints that Chad would be spending time with Stephanie as well. He comforts her regarding Everett, here are three possible reasons why Everett lied. These two will eventually arrive at the Horton residence, where he will demonstrate to her that some of the family's belongings survived the fire. Is he going to make any comparisons to surviving natural disasters? Since leaving Tate, Teresa and Brady have been in disarray and are hoping to rebuild their relationship with their son. Is that the person on the phone with him? That may very possibly be the result of his unhappy appearance. Will he recognize that his parents are only doing their best efforts and give them some leeway? For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.